Okay, so yesterday Wynn and I spent many hours and actually we finished after dark. We make this concrete pad here for the water tanks and what I want is I want a uh, kind of like a little room to protect these water tanks. So I, I want some block to go around this thing and uh, we'll just put a door in front. This will be the water coming in and the aerator will sit up on top of the water tank. And then this will be the supply line to the tanks and it'll have a faucet uh, that I can put a hose in here and use for whatever. So as you can see, there's two tanks and they will sit here and connect to these pipes and go from there. Now on Monday, tomorrow, uh, there's a guy that's supposed to bring me the aerator that goes here so that it can get some of the um, rust out of this thing. All right, let's see what happens. Last night I finished in darkness and it's not very smooth. So we're going to mix one more bag and uh, try to get this thing a little smoother. Okay. That was a... Uh, no, 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 Dioji. You not good. gonna leave any footprint. Huh? You not gonna leave any footprint, I said. Yeah. It's well, not for you. Here in a little bit, we'll put him in the back. Ah! Here, go put him over there, because uh, he's not gonna stay out of the way. Come here. Move. Come, come with me. You can stay. Good boy. Good boy. You stay here. Good boy. Yoji? Yoji? Good boy. We will mix Thai style today. Today we're going to do Thai style, but we don't know what the heck we're doing. <laughs> oh, that's what Thais do. They just do. That'll be okay. Mm. <laughs> Either way, an extra layer will be good. Wait for it to soak up a little bit. That's what they do. No, 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 because then it runs everywhere. If you want, you can take a little bit, put it in there, but don't let that water run out. This way, you pull that way. Here. Yeah, and then kind of go all in here, and I'll go all in here, and uh, then we'll do something. With it.
Okay, so we uh, smoothed this cement uh, over the top of this thing. It looks a hell of a lot better. Okay, so we rigged up this thing here with a board and thing, so see what happens. The rest of this, put it over there by the by the gate. Yeah, over there by the by the gate. Sala, sala. Ah, how much is left? A little bit. Oh, cool. you're gonna put it here or over there? Over here. Okay. The job I did was good enough to hold the tanks, but it was not the best job. Now this, with uh, standard concrete, with a proper mix, you'll have plenty of cement on the, on the edges, around, on top. Plus, we increase the thickness of this thing by probably six, eight inches. So, one way or another it had to be thrown away so might as well put it to use and there it is yeah. oh yeah we needed some country here in the corner so like that's it everything for a reason Ah, very good. Yeah, we need a concrete there. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Hey. Okay. Very good. So this thing will be up. Uh, this morning, the... Uh, well guy came by and we talked about adding a filter tank here cutting these out and what we will have to do is uh, feed the water from here through a pump to the filter and then back over to this holding tank and uh, what that filter will do is it will take all that rust out of there. Uh, the aeration, the aerator, the aerator up here will separate the rust. The pump will force it through the filter and the filter media will capture all the rust. And here it'll be pretty much rust free and then what I will do is this hose here I'm going to uh, take out of there along with this irrigation pipe because in order to keep them there I would have to add a second pump so instead of doing that I will tap into this line here which is coming from the well under pressure which is the pipe that feeds the aer aerator so by hooking it up to this it will create the push that I need for irrigating these trees and it will create uh, the pressure that I need on this hose to also do what I need. Now, 
The other problem that I had is that pump does not have an auto shut off. And it, it's at full bore, so it pumps a lot of water, which is very nice, but very inconvenient. Uh, in order to maintain that pressure, you have to have enough holes open uh, so that it doesn't create any back pressure. Because if it creates back pressure, it'll actually suck the water out of the pump and loses its prime. So, what we will do is add a pressure limit switch and I say we because he will come and do it. But it will bring down the pressure. Uh, I think that he said the biggest one they had was 40. I imagine it's 40 pounds, uh, 40 kilos, I don't know, 40, whatever it is. Uh, and uh, it will pump out of that, which I believe it will be enough. And uh, when it's done, we'll check it out. And if it's not enough, then we do something else. But right now, the only hose that I can run is that big one inch uh, hose, because if I, try to run three quarters, it just backs up too much. And what I need to do is I need to open one or two other spigots there to uh, take some of that pressure up that's coming in from the pump. So I think we need to regulate that and uh, go from there. Well, he will send me a quote and uh, you know see what uh, what it'll run and then once uh, we decide he'll come and do it and see what that regulator does all right I'll let you know thanks for watching see you next time see you bye bye